In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to generate PLC schematics from an IO list. To go from this to this with just a few clicks. If you haven't done so already, you may want to watch the Importing IO List from Excel tutorial. Here I have a list of unassigned IOs that I imported from Excel. Unassigned meaning the IOs haven't been assigned to specific PLC modules yet. For this example, I'm going to assign some of these IOs to this digital input module. Before we start assigning IOs, let's insert the comments for this module. Ok, now let's start assigning IOs. There are a few different ways to do it. One method is to select one of the channels on the module and select Assign IO to Channel. A window pops up displaying a list of all unassigned digital inputs. Select the IO you want, I'll take Pump1 Running and click OK. Now this IO has been assigned to this channel and the IO description Pump1 Running is shown beside the channel. If we go back to our list of unassigned IOs, the IO Pump1 Running no longer appears here because it is no longer unassigned. Next I'll show you the purpose of this column, connected to. I'll select a cell in this column and select a normally open relay contact from the library. It appears in the connected to column for that specific IO. Now let's assign this IO to the PLC module. Assign IO to channel. The IO has been assigned to that channel. The IO description is displayed and a normally open relay contact and the required control connections have been connected to it. Now that you've seen how to assign IOs one by one, let's assign multiple IOs. But first, let's make our IO list a little more detailed to make it more interesting. I'll tick some of the boxes in the Requires Terminals column to show you what that does too. Now let's go back to our PLC module. Instead of selecting an individual channel, I'll select the module itself. This allows us to select Assign IOs to Module. Let's select a few. and click OK. The schematics are automatically generated, including IO descriptions, connections, connected elements, and terminals where we specified that terminals were required. It's also possible to automatically generate more complex IO schematics, such as these, where you have multiple elements connected to a channel. We do this using graphical groupings. Let me show you a quick example. Let's say I want to generate this. I'll go to the unassigned IO list. And in the connected to field, I'll select a graphical grouping I want from the library. Now when I assign that IO to a channel, The entire graphical grouping is generated. To make graphical groupings like these, insert your connections add whatever elements you want. I'll add some relay contacts. Now select the group Go to the Drawing tab and select Create Graphical Grouping. Next we need to define the insertion point. It's important to define the insertion point as the connection point on the PLC module. Give it a name. I'll call it Pump Running. 
choose the library folder in which you want to save it. I'll choose graphical groupings. Save to catalog. And there it is. Now we can use this graphical grouping in automatic PLC schematic generation whenever we want. Let's test it. Go to our list of unassigned IOs. I'll add it to this last IO. Go back to the module and assign that IO to a channel. For this tutorial, I've used digital input modules, but these principles can be applied to all types of PLC modules. In conclusion, there is one more feature I'd like to show you, relating to inserting commons. Once you've inserted the commons, it can be time consuming to link them to where they are fed from. This process can be automated. For instance, let's say that I want all my PLC modules to be fed from this power supply. Select an OPR, then select either default feed OPR or default return OPR. I'll make the top OPR the default feed and the bottom OPR the default return. Now with PLC modules, Whenever we insert commons, the commons are already linked to the power supply.